Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in today. It is Tuesday morning. It's actually August 18th. Beautiful day. It's in the 50s right now this morning. And, well, maybe it's up in the 60s by now. Anyhow, it's a great day. Today's the day that I kick off my um, eating plant-based. So no more meat, no dairy, just going to eat my vegetables and maybe some fruit, make smoothies, make some juice, <clears throat> maybe steam up some veggies, but um, getting all the processed stuff out of my system. So I'll be going through some detoxing. Hopefully it'll be mild because um, I'm really not wanting to have a heavy detox, but it'll be what it'll be and I'll get through it. So I'm figuring on at least four weeks, hopefully longer, of just doing plant-based but we'll see what my body says. I'm really trying to stay in tune with my body and feed it what it's asking for. And, you know, if I eat something and it makes me feel sick, then, or tired or grumpy, then I'm going to try to avoid that food in the future. Um, it's about listening to my body. So, and I just wanted to talk a little bit more about getting active. You know, even if you don't, want to go walking. How about dancing? You know, you could do some dance moves or um, just do some stretching. Sit in your chair if you can't get up and move around much. Sometimes I know mobility is tough for some people. You have bad knees, you have, you know, bad hips, whatever you have um, that might be hindering you from getting up and walking. Then when you're sitting in your chair, do some exercises. Move your feet, move your legs, move your arms. Um, there's things you can do uh, to stretch and, and just keep those muscles moving so that you don't um, end up with more, more soreness and pain. And it might help you to uh, tone up a little bit. And, you know, if you clean up your diet a little bit, you know, if you're eating a lot of canned foods, a lot of processed foods, try switching it up and getting a little bit more fresh food if you can. Um, you know, organic is, of course, the best for you. If you can't afford organic, okay. So get regular fruits and vegetables. That's usually what I have to do, um, unless I can find organic on sale or, you know, a good deal on it somewhere. If I don't grow it myself, then I'll buy it, you know, in the store. But lots of times organic is just too expensive, even just to feed myself right now. So... But you just do the best you can, you know, if you can, if you have to eat your canned vegetables because, you know, you just can't afford to go buy fresh green beans and whatever, that's fine. Rinse the vegetables. Get that sodium and that extra ick off of there. Rinse them a few times before you cook them. Frozen's better than canned. So just do what you can, you know, baby steps. Uh, if you're feeling really yucky and lazy and tired, try getting off of the dairy um, and keep a journal of how you're feeling, you know, when you're not eating dairy. So stay off dairy for like two weeks and then slowly start adding stuff in and see how you feel once you start adding it back in. So, you know notate. Okay. So I've had no dairy for two weeks. This is how I'm feeling today. I'm going to add back processed milk. And once you do write down how you're feeling and after a couple of weeks of reintroducing all the dairy back in, if you're feeling like a slug again, go back over your journal and see if you can see where that transition occurred. Um, you know, some people just can't eat dairy. Some people can. So just listen to your body. Try to get in tune with your body and what your body is telling you and eat foods that are good for you, for your body. You know, eating plant-based, I already know works great for me. I have lots of energy. I um, am more patient. My memory is much better. But some people, it doesn't work so well for them. They have more brain fog and they get more tired and and they need more meat or dairy or, you know, if you really love your milk, maybe try drinking some raw milk. See if that, if your body handles that better. Um, just look at different ways to um, improve your, your health and wellness. So um, 
going on five minutes, six minutes. Thank you so much um, for tuning in. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to hear my ramblings. And um, feel free to make comments below, um, hopefully positive ones. But, you know, um, it's all good. And thanks again for tuning in. And I'll have another video up hopefully in the next couple of days. Take care, guys. Bye.